I really hope they, you know, get out, you know, at least get bail. Like, man, at, at least, you know, people who have committed worse crimes, like heinous crimes, and they get bail, you know, they, the, the judge easily could have been like a million dollar bail for, for Young Thug and he could have got out, but they know he could afford it. They know. They, they know, know he could afford it. And they don't want to give it to him. They want, they want to see him. This is my opinion. They want to see him suffer. They want to see him go in his mind and just be in pain. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the podcast. My name is Antonio D. Miles, and we got a nice topic today. And we got a special guest today. Your boy, Tarek T. You already know. Yeah, and we're going to talk about an interesting topic, like I said. But before we get into it, we're going to do a couple of housekeepings. Um, again, my name is Antonio D. Miles. You can follow me at yeah, that is him, on Instagram.com. And also, I've got an ebook coming out very soon, so stay tuned for that, called 10 Things That Your Parents Should Have Taught You But Didn't. But the topic today that we're going to talk about is about, yeah, what's it about, T? Tell, tell the folks what, the, what it's about. Man, it's about what's going on in the news, man. You know, Young Thug, Gunna, you know, how does it you know, affecting the community, affect, affecting American culture, rap, hip-hop culture, you know? So, you know, we're going to dive deep, man. Facts. So, for those of you who do not know who the rappers Young Thug and Gunna is, they're American rappers, young men, young men. 30 years old is the oldest. 30 years old is how old Young Thug is. And I think Gunna's like 26, 28, right? And they're rappers, you know, but you got a little bit more to talk about, about them, about the rap like, and so stuff like that? So basically, if you're under a rug or you just don't know what's going on, um, Young Thug, you know, he's a top tier hip hop artist. His last album, Punk, went number one, you know, songs like Push It Pete, We Push It Pete. You famous know, song, famous song. With, with Gunna and also Future. And then Gunna, his last project also went number one. You know, he did like 100 first week. So these are top tier artists. Like, that's why it's real mainstream and a lot's going on because these are top tier artists. And yeah, it, it it's affecting everyone. Yeah, and so what is going on right now with them is that they all have been arrested under a RICO case. Right. And for those of you guys who don't know what RICO is, it stands for Racketeer Influence Corrupt Organizations, which is usually have to deal with the mob. It was invented in like the 70s, the 50s for the mob bosses, because back in the day, if I was a mob boss and I sent T out to go do a murder, then he would go to jail for X amount of time and I would Man. still be I would still be cool. But the way they created it was that, OK, Everybody who's involved is gonna get taken down. We're gonna figure out who the head. We're gonna figure out who the head is and go for it, knock it down. And so right now, Fulton County or the uh, the DA in Georgia, that's Atlanta, where, Atlanta, that's where uh, Young Thug is, and the whole indictment is they're trying to accuse him of being the head organization of his crew, which is YS, YSL. YSL Young they try, Young Slime Life, to be exact. Young Slime, and they're trying to make that seem like a criminal organization associated with the Bloods. And they're trying to say that he is the head of that organization. You got more about that? So basically, it's like a 56-count indictment, 28 pages, and... 88 pages. 88 pages. 56-count indictment, you know, different different um, charges, ranging from theft, all kinds of stuff, racketeering. So, yeah, these are serious charges, and they're saying Young Thug, you know, he used his rap money to facilitate the YSL, you know, blood gang, you know. They're calling him a blood gang, but we look at them as a, a music group, but they're saying he's trying to, like, infiltrate, you know, these um, criminal acts, you know. So, yeah, and um, also Gunna is being charged by being an affiliation, having the chains on, being in the videos. You know, so he's being charged with just affiliation for right now. Yeah, just but being affiliated with it. They're saying Young Thug is like the lead boss. And mind you guys, these are the same charges that Larry Hoover is being charged with. You know, they're trying to get him out today. That's why Kanye West dropped that video with um his um son. 
You know, that's why they're trying to get him out. They had the free Larry Hoover merch, but he got hit with Rico. The Rico started with the mob bosses, John Gotti. You know, that's what this Rico started, you know? So these are serious allegations. And like, you know, those guys got the life, you know what I'm saying? Those guys didn't, weren't able to get out. So they're really trying to hit Young Thug for sure. They're really trying to hit him hard. They're really going for, for him sure. hard. And like, the thing is, is that Thank goodness for right now, it's not federal. So federal RICO is a lot worse Worser. than just uh, state, which is for Georgia, right? So I'm going to read you guys the exact. I got it from the Atlanta Police Department. I got his actual things, jail records for the Atlanta, Georgia, his number and everything. And you guys can find this easily on the website. So these are all the things he's been filed for or convicted for, right? Or arrested for, if you want to be exact, right? Haven't been convicted yet, just to be correct. Haven't right. been convicted. Right. So, the first one is conspiracy to violate the Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organization Act. And they said the, event, the offense started January of 2013. So, they're taking him, they're saying that he started this organization back in 2013. So, they're saying that he's been a crime boss for almost 10 years. That's what they're saying right now about this is young thug we're talking about, Damn right? Near ten years. Yeah, they're trying to say basically for ten years he's been a crime boss, right? Okay, the next thing that they got him for is participation in criminal street gang activity, and that one the offense date is May of 2018, right? And then all these other things they they stacked on upon after after he got arrested because if you guys don't know they the cops came into his house and they found drugs. And all these other things. And they said, oh, well, this must be a part of the criminal organization and stuff like that. When in reality, like, you know, if you're a rapper, you probably just live in your life, having a good time. Yeah, right? you know, just rock star life, you know. Right. So here are the other ones that they got him for. And this is all of May 9th, May 9th. And I believe he got arrested on the, the 10th or something like that. Something like that. Yeah. Around that. Yeah. Really recent. So this is what they, they got him for the 9th of 2022. Five more charges. Possession of marijuana with intent to distribute possession of a schedule three, four or five controlled substance substance with intent to distribute, which could be like, you know, ecstasy, Molly, things like that. Right. And then it goes possession of a firearm during commission of a felony. So I'm assuming that he was on a, he had a felony and he had a firearm. That's what I'm assuming oh, okay. they're saying that. Right. Then they, they're getting them for possession of a sawed off shotgun, sawed off rifle, machine gun, dangerous weapon, or silencer. So they caught him with, the, with one of those or multiple of those. They haven't clarified exactly on which one or how many they actually got, but they're putting them for that charge, right? And then it goes on for like unlawful person employed by or with a, street, or with a criminal street gang to conduct or participate in criminal activity. And they got him with three counts for that. And just, just for that one? For that one thing, they got him three counts. So three different times they got him on that. So three different times it adds up. So a total, so this is how many charges he's got. A total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's got a total of nine charges. Young, this is just Young Thug alone. Damn. You know, there's like, I think there's 24 other people that's part of YSL that's also. 27. In, that are also involved. Thank you. That are also involved in this big case, but only in this Rico case or this big case with YSL. And so those are the nine counts of charges that's just for young cut young thug Damn. that's crazy man that's for him and you said they've been watching him since 2013 yeah or they're they're Around, claiming that he claiming so they've been watching him since 2013 and we're in 2022 yeah 2022 nine years they've yeah. been watching you the whole time they let you get your money they let you you know have all the girls live your life but they were just stacking stacking on stacking it's crazy, man. Just for him. Just it's for wild. him alone. It's wild. Just for him alone. It's That's wild. Crazy. And, um, you know, so Young Thug asked, they denied him bail. Mm, he asked for that. bail and they denied him, that. right? And I'm going to read I'm gonna read to you guys what what happened, right? So, so it says the judge found Young Thug to be a flight risk. They, the, the judge... Let me, let, me, let me read the quote here. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't find the actual quote. But he was saying that 
Young Thug or the judge, I don't know if it's a man or a woman, they don't clarify, but the judge says that Young Thug would be a flight risk, meaning that he might not come. He might not come back home. He might not come back to uh, Atlanta or Georgia, you know, for his trial and stuff like that, that he might just flee the country and he run away. He might go to Cuba. <laughs> you know, he's like, he might run away or he might do more criminal activity is also what the judge was saying. And the defense attorney, oh man, I got to read what the d defense attorney said because uh, Young Thug's got a really good defense attorney. He has a good argument and this is what he says. And, and, and sorry to cut you off, in yeah. Young Thug's defense, Oh, yeah, uh -huh. his, his his attorney. His, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. To his defense attorney to defend him. Oh, okay. Right. So this is what, this is what the, this is what he argued. Right. He said. He said he argued that the rapper isn't a flight risk because he has substantial ties to Atlanta, and that there is not a scintilla, scintilla of evidence that he has done anything to try to obstruct justice or to try to hinder people from turning themselves in or being arrested, saying that, you know, he, he's been basically abiding by the law, that Young Thug has not been fighting against the authority. He's, he's been following. They showed up. He followed. He didn't fight. He just did all the orders, right? And then he says, he describes his client, Young Thug. This is the attorney talking, Young Thug's attorney, attorney talking, by the way, again. He says that Young Thug is like the Babe Ruth of the musical industry right now. He described how he had traveled around the world and performed in front of a massive audience. He also offered to take custody of the rapper's passport and suggested he would wear an ankle monitor if the judge felt he was a flight risk. So the, so Young Thug's attorney was have all these things in benefit for Young Thug saying that, you know, I'll, I'll hold his passport so that way he can't leave the country. You could also put a basically like a house arrest bra bracelet on him so that way he could track wherever he goes. To prove that he's not a flight risk. That he's not a flight risk, right? This is what the judge said to <laughs> that. This should be interesting. He said, he cited the risk of, con he said, uh, Young Thug might be committing additional felon uh, condition, uh, excuse me, that Young Thug might be making more felonies. He has a lot of support outside of Georgia. It might be hard to get him back to the state. Mm, that's kind of tricky, man. That's kind of tricky. But I don't think, I don't know Young Thug personally. Of course. No, but, we don't. We don't. You know, if I was in a situation, you know, I got a lot going on. This is real big. I got hit with a Rico. Like, he wouldn't do nothing to, like, risk it. He'll come to court, you know, and show up. I, you know, my gut feeling. Of I'm course. not in his shoes, but of course. my gut feeling. That's that's just my gut feeling. And we're just going off. Uh, we're just talking about Young Thug. This is just one person. Still 27 people. This is a, a gang indictment. Like, a lot of the gangs in California, a lot of gangs in New York, this is what they get hit with. They get hit with indictments, you know? That's why they be like, when you see little interviews, you know, of young people growing up in gangs and everything, they be like, man, there was no father figure around. There was no big homies around. Why? Because a lot of people, fathers and a lot of people, big homies got locked up, you know? They got indicted, you know? This happens, you know? Just like the rapper Casanova, he just got indicted, you know? Facts. So he, he just actually pleaded to... um. Basically, he's, you know, said that he did those crimes. So, you know, he's waiting to get sentenced December 6th. I was reading um, on Instagram. So, you know, that's just another rapper. It's like they're really trying to come after these rappers. And, you know, they got these record labels, you know, and really trying to hit them where it hurts. Just take them. You know? Just take them. The DA said she's trying to get rid of these gangs in Atlanta. But it's, mm. it, it's crazy. But, but mind you, he just went over. He just young thug. Young thug is just one person. There's still 27 more people. That's a part of this. Yeah. And it's crazy. They're trying to say he's sending out hits for this and that that involve another fellow Atlanta rapper, Wyan Fanlucci. I don't know if you're familiar. He's yeah. A, he's he's another gone. rapper. I guess they, they have a beef. They're both bloods. But it's, yeah. yeah, man, it's crazy. You know, that just tells you like, hey, man, you got to watch what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? They've been watching this since 2013. So they probably been watching everything that he's doing. From the beginning. Every, tapping his phone. Stay off them phones. Stay off yeah. them phones. Don't say nothing criminal on them phones. Stop all them phones. And watch what you posting on social media. Yeah, like, y'all think this is a game, but, you know, this is real. This is facts. And just like T was saying, like, there, people are saying, oh, you know, you can't use people's rap lyrics into a court case, but it's actually been used before. Facts. And 
you cannot you can't the thing is you can't use it by itself but if you can add it to other like other pieces of evidence then it becomes valuable right and and I'll, I'll actually read you one of the lyrics they said they want to use i'm gonna i'm gonna read it to you guys what they said they're going to use this is what it is and this is going back to uh the death of uh of thomas because they're saying that young thug put a hit out on this guy named thomas aka yacht guy i believe right yeah so here's the lyrics Should we make it explicit or should we make it PG thirteen? Man, you gotta give you gotta, you gotta give, them give the them real. Explicit, man. You we gotta, gotta give them, them the, the real. We gonna give you the rise the real. So we said, so a nigga lie to they mama, lie to they kids, lie to they brothers and they sisters. Then they get right into the courtroom and tell the God's honest truth. Don't get it, don't get it. Y'all niggas need to get fucking killed, bro. From me and YSL. And so the prosecutors, the people against Young Thug, is using that as evidence, as a piece of evidence towards the trial. Tough, 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 man. You got to watch what you're saying. Like I said before, you got to watch what you're saying, watch what you're doing. You know? Right now, I read something up um, on Instagram. Jay-Z's trying to um, get that stopped in, um, in New York, where if, if a rapper gets arrested, you can't use his lyrics. You know, that's our, that's our first amendment right. You know what I'm saying? Like, freedom you know, of speech. Freedom of speech. That's our first amendment yeah. right. But, you know, I'm no legal expert. Me, not at all. But, you know, I would just be, if I was young thug, I would just be quiet. Let my lawyer do handle everything. Because anything could be said and used against you. Like, the federal, system, law. This federal yep. system is crazy. I have family members going through it right now. You get what I'm saying? Going through it right now. So it's like, Facts. this federal Facts. system is, it, it's, it, it's real out here. We have to watch everything that you say. When they call in, you know, check in on me, you know, I press one of them phones, I'm talking to them, I got to watch what I say. You get what I'm saying? Like, I got to watch what I say. I, sometimes I feel like I got to change my number. You know what I'm saying? I got to watch what I'm doing. So, you know, for me, it hits home because it's like, you know, I got family that's been in, you know, the system, in and out the system. So it's like, you know, that's just what it is. Being, being young, black in America, that's just what it is. So it's like, that's why I try to sell you young cats, man. Gangsta ain't cool. Yeah. It's not cool out here, man. Gangsta is not yeah. cool. Just you don't like, want to be away from your family. You don't want to be away from your kids, your mama. You know, you don't want to put stress on your own family. You know, gangsta yeah. is not cool. Ain't nothing wrong working no nine to five. Facts. It's, ain't nothing wrong working a nine to five. It ain't nothing working. It's nothing hard. Because cause guess what? That same motherfucker that you said was lame from working that nine to five, you calling for money to be put on your books. Calling. Is that facts? Facts. I get... I get I get phone calls all the time. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know what's cool is that that respectable people that work that nine to five who's called a lame they won't look down on you. They'll still put that money on the books. They won't look down on you. They won't look down. They won't look down. And just like T was saying about, like, be careful what you say out there. You know, like, it. don't be tricked, folks. Don't be tricked by the media thinking that it's cool to be gangsta. You know what's cool? Like Jay-Z said, having your, having your credit on point. You know, credit. you know, what's, you know, what's real gangsta Nipsey, but w what was Nipsey doing? He was helping the community. He was teaching about intellectual freedom, about building the community. Now that's gangsta. You want to talk about gangsta? That's gangsta. Being a father is gangsta. That's gangsta. Waking up every day, handling your business, taking care of your kids, taking care of your loved ones. That's gangsta. Facts. Being better than yesterday. That's gangsta. That's gangsta. Always progressing. That's gangsta. Yeah. That's gangsta. Like this new gangsta. I don't know what this is, because back in the day, the old school, in the 80s and 90s, they wasn't, you know, they wasn't talking on the phones. You know, I know technology is yeah. different, but they wasn't yeah. all out there with their business. No, you don't know no. what they did? Yeah. Like, we're no. too out here. Like, we got to, oh, we got to get on Instagram and post that we on somebody block. Hey, yo, when, yeah. yo, man, I'm saying outside, they ain't outside. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, it's crazy. Damn, boom, you get locked up. Now what? Shit get real. You die. Your family crying. You get what I'm saying? It's yeah. kind of like we got to change the narrative. Is You know what I'm saying? Especially if you reach facts, Young Thug facts, and Gunner's facts. level. If you reach Young Thug and Gunner's level. You, you really need to quit. You need to stop. You really need to quit. You need to stop. You really need if to quit. If you still want to rap about it, you might as well go out like Rick Ross. Huh. Uh -oh. You might as well go out like Rick Ross. You know? You get Shit. what I'm saying? You might as well go out like that. If you want to still rap about it, but don't do it. Yeah, and Rick Ross is a boss. Hey, I ain't got, I ain't knocking on Ross. I ain't knocking all. on Ross. He's I'm, making his money. He's making his money. He's making his, he's making money. his money. He's making he's money. Making, he's making his money. Now that's gangster. You no, know, that's gangster. That's what uh, I'm saying. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? Even if he was a police officer, or like, 
You know what I'm saying? Like, that's basically what I'm saying. It's like, it doesn't matter what you did back in the day. 6 9 snitching, still making money. You get yeah. what I'm saying? And he was part I'm of a Rico case. I'm not condoning no snitching. And, that's and he was a part of a, a, Rico, a Rico case, too. Told everybody. I'm not condoning no snitching. But it's crazy how he gets to um, still rap and make his money. But the yeah. niggas that's keeping it real, they in jail. Yeah. You see, y'all, y'all seen the episode with uh, Dave Chappelle when keeping it real goes wrong? <laughs> Just think about that. Just think about that. The episode when the girl was talking about somebody was playing on her phone. She pulled up to the lady house. You know, she keyed her car or whatever she did. Put gasoline on it. I forgot. Boom. They, but she was borrow, borrowing her brother's car. That was the, a defense attorney. Boom. She got sent to jail. Tried to keep it real in jail and got jumped. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So what we're just saying, y'all, is just like, just change your perspective. Change your mind. Look into other things. Look into bettering yourself, right? Don't get it twisted, right? Don't get it twisted, you know? It's okay to be different. It's okay to be yourself. You don't have to fall into line with everything else, you know? You know, and I know sometimes it's harder for, it's harder to say than do, especially like if you got family members that are involved in it and you just live around it. It's definitely harder. It's harder to, harder to do than to, it's harder to say, excuse me, it's easier to say than to do it. But the, the point is, is that to be outside of those walls is a lot better than being inside those walls. Man, for sure. You know, right? And you can ask anybody who's been inside those walls. Every time I, I talk to people that's inside the walls on the phone, you know, they wish they was home. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, you know, they wish they was home, you know. Like, you, you're locked up in a cell all day. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's what I'm saying. It's like, it's not worth it. It's really not worth it. Work your little nine to five. Whatever little money you get, you know, save up, you know. You know, invest. survive, survive, yeah. invest, invest in anything, you know, but work that nine to five, save you up some money till you can invest in, you know, a business or whatever, yeah. you, whatever you're passionate about. Save up to that, save up for that. You know, it's 2022. We got to change the narrative, man. You know, those men are too popular and those men are like good role models for this to be going on. You know, it's you know, facts. we look up to people like this, it's you facts. know what I'm saying? Cause everybody wants to make it. We all want to make it. I know it's hard out here. You know, when, when we, we got targets on our back, you know, young black man, we walk outside. Boom. We got to move accordingly. As soon as we step out the house, we got a black man. We got to move accordingly. You get what I'm saying? No matter what. Facts. You get what I'm saying? We got to move accordingly. So it's like, we really have to watch what we're doing. We have to be positive and like, you know, try to do better. That's all I can say. Try to do better. You know, I'm here. I support black men. I'm a black man myself. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I just want us to see us move forward, you know? Cause, Succeed. Yeah, because this is real out here, man. Yeah, and, and Young Thug was warned by an OG. Oh, you word, know? word. He was run, warned by OG. He said, hey, man, if you not part of that life, don't do it. Because the OG spent, what did Young Thug say? He's like, hey, I found out that you spent more time in jail. I think I seen that. That was Wallow from a million dollars worth of game. Yeah, right? I think I seen that. Yep, so Wallow warned him, right? And they... He warned him. He told him, you know, hey, man, well, I did this amount of time with Whoop. Y'all young niggas still out in the streets. Hey, man. You don't come do to it. Me, you come to me. Like, you ain't, you, oh, you got 40, 45 years, you know? Hey, yeah. he said all the gangster shit gone. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, man, listen to listen to the older folk. Listen to them you OGs. Gotta, especially if they've already been there. Man. Right now, right now, Young Thug is uh, looked out to be sentenced to 23 years. In prison, right? So it could be more, it could be less, but he gonna be a minimum gonna, from five to twenty three. He gonna be almost sixty years old by the time he gets out if if they give him the maximum sentence. His life is gonna be changed forever for for doing what? You already rich rapping, like you already rich rapping. Why? You know what but I mean? But we su- we support Young Thug and. and- I hope he beats this. You know, I want to see every black man prosper. They were doing good things in Atlanta, in the community. Yeah, he was building you know, it. Last year, you know, he was bailing out people, paying for their bail, paying for their bonds, over 50 inmates, 30 to 50 inmates. Also, he was, you know, he, he was trying to build a water park for um, everyone to go hang out with the kids called Slime City. You know, it was mm-hmm. a water park, you know what I'm saying? Gunna also gave out in the community different things, you know what I'm saying, in his neighborhood. So it's like... They they help their community, you know what I'm saying? They help the city of Atlanta, yeah. Fulton County, you know, they, they help their city. So it's not here to knock them. It's here to teach all of us the lesson that this is what happens, you know. But we still have to, we don't know all the facts. It's, a, it's an ongoing case. But at the same time, you know, I do want to say I support Young Thug and, you know, and Gunna. I support Young Thug and Gunna. 
all the black men that was a part of this. You know, I never looked at YSL as a gang. I always thought that that was a rap group. You know, make good music, you know. Gunner's one of my favorite right now. I feel like he got the drip. I feel like we lost a little bit of drip, you know, in the rap scene. But, like, you know, Gunner, wanna, Gunner, Hunter, Hunter, you know. He had the drip, man, you know, and it's it's sad to see. Open my eyes, too. It's like, man, it doesn't matter what level you get to. You commit a crime, all, you commit a crime. Man, it's it doesn't matter simple. who you are. So it's it's that kinda simple. Like, you know? So I just want to say I, I support them, man, and I hope they they, they beat this. Yeah, for real. I really hope they, you know, get out, you know, at least get bail. Like, man, at, at least, you know. people who have committed worse crimes, like heinous crimes, and they get bail, you know. They, the, the judge easily could have been like a million dollar bail for, for Young Thug and he could have got out. But they know he could afford it. They know. They, they know, know he could afford it. Knowing. And they don't want to give it to him. They want, they want to see him. This is my opinion. They want to see him suffer. They want to see him go in his mind and just be in pain. They a want lot, to see him suffer in that prison. A lot of it could be jealousy too. He got more money than all of them. The judge, the DA. Or the sheriff, he got more money. The lawyers, he got more money. Than all of them, yeah. you know, who knows? They might be jealous too, so no they want to find something. So it's like no they just they're, even before you even commit a crime, like you never commit a crime before, just because who you are, they're just gonna watch you, just cause. Now you got somebody watching every move you make, yeah, every move you make. You know, some you know everybody does something. Sometimes you might speed, oh, you might go hundred real quick. You gotta get to where you need to go, but no one's watching you. You might just you know you're not you're not supposed to go hundred on the freeway, you're supposed yeah. to go sixty five, but you might you might go hundred or you might litter. No yeah. one, the point I'm trying to make is, you know, just by them being a rapper and who they are, it's already a target on their back. So they're being watched no matter what. That's why for all you rappers, hey, man, all you young mm-hmm. black men, too, stay in the line. You know, let's change the narrative. Yeah, they it's, watching. You know, they trying to send us away. It's even a bigger target when you got money. Right? Bigger. Athletes, rappers, they coming. They're watching you. They're watching even more. You thought it was tough just being an average Joe? Black man out here, man of color out here. Imagine they know your name, they know your face, they know what you look like. You know what I mean? That's so, crazy. We got to do our best to just. What sucks is that other people might be able to get away doing nefarious things, but we have to, even though we're perceived as being worse people, we have to even be even more goody two shoes, quote unquote goody two shoes, to be looked at as, as even average. You know? You have to be like, it's a meme back in the day. It was Ice Cube. It was like, how I look at work with a button up tie. Yeah. And then how I look after work, tie all button up, hat backwards. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That, that's yeah. how we have to really act. And that's the, the truth. That's how you have to act. You know, you get what I'm saying? You have to kind of like, you know, that's what they want out of you because of the perception. You know, and you know, in the end of the day, like be yourself. Like if, you know, hat back or whatever, like do you. But what 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 we're really talking about is... Do things legally. Do things right. Have your paper right to get your money right, to get your life right. And you know what that all equals up? It equals up to your freedom. Mm. And as black people in this country, the best thing that we want, and everybody, is freedom. Right? So get your money right, get your mind right, get your life right, get your circle right, and that'll equal to freedom. Get your circle right too. Trust me. Because for them to be following him for that long... Somebody been talking to the police. Somebody's been talking. So make sure you get your circle right. That's a very important. Yeah. For real. It probably could have been an inside job. You, you know, you never know. For that long, it had to you be. You never know. That's from, they've been watching since 2013. Yeah. Some, somebody in the circle had to. Yeah. They watching for that long. It's, it's crazy. It's yeah. crazy, man. It's wild. And so like, you know, like T said, and I agree, like, want the best to happen for Young Thug and... Just anybody that's in the system in general that has been wrongly convicted or put in there for several years, like can't even imagine how many people are are in jail for years just for having crazy. a dime sack of weed. Crazy, it's it's crazy. Right? Or, or or having heroin. And right now, you can go to a weed shop. And right now in suburbs, they have a uh, opium clinics for people who have, you know, fucking withdrawals. So it's crazy how when one people do one thing, it's illegal. But when they flip it a different way for other people, mm. it becomes legal. So just move accordingly. Okay? Again, get your mind right, get your paper right, get your money right, get your circle right, and you'll get your freedom. All right? Jules. Jules, amen to that. 
I understand all of that. That's facts for real, bro. Yeah. Anything and else you want to say about the case or about man, anything? Man, just free gunner, free young thug, free the whole wide cell, man. You know, this is right now. It's, it's looking like an L for the culture, hip hop. You get what I'm saying? So I just hope, you know, these men get to come home, man. We missed that drip. We need that little young slime. Yeah. Know? Little drip, you know, with the green snake. That's them. The young slime life, man. We we need that. You know what I'm saying? But this is also is a message, you know, like my brother was saying earlier. You know, move accordingly, man. Watch what you're saying on them phones, man. When you get that call, man, on, on them phones, man, all that saying I'm gang this, gang that, you know what I'm saying? You know, boo woo woo on the phone, stop it. They watching everything, especially if you, get, if you got an ongoing case. Stop it. Stop it, man. Watch what you post on Instagram, like I said earlier, man. You yeah, know? don't even play. Don't even play with no Instagram. Don't, don't, even, don't play. even play with the phones, Instagram, none of that. You know, just move accordingly. You know, just, just strive for the better. Facts. Strive for the better, you know. I feel like we all need to strive for the better. You know, make yesterday. Yesterday. You know, yesterday. That's yesterday. Today is better than yesterday. Facts. You get what I'm saying? So let's just all move accordingly. And then you know, our, our eyes are open, you know what I'm saying, you know? You know, so hopefully this is not a real L for the culture. Hopefully they, they could, you know, somehow by them having access to what they have to, the access to their popularity, you know, who they are, their name. Hopefully, they're around the right people that can really help them and get them out of the situation. Fingers crossed. So, we're going to keep our fingers crossed for Young Thug, Gunna, the whole YSL, you know. And I just want to say my condolences to their family, you know. And I want to see the culture in general. Because this ain't culture. Going to jail and all that, that's not culture. You know, I just want to see us just... Elevate. Elevate, man. Elevate, man. Yeah, yeah. I got a question Elevate. for you, T. So... Is Jack Harlow part of YSL? That's just Hell a question. Oh no, Jack That's Harlow a... is not part of YSL. Okay, I've been see. I saw something where they were saying Jack Harlow's part of YSL. Why isn't he getting blah 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 blah? Nah, man, Jack yes. Harlow's not from YSL. Isn't that, isn't that he from Kentucky. Isn't that, he is a Kentucky boy? He's a Kentucky he's boy from Kentucky. That's where so, he's from. He's not have from you YSL. Seen the, have you seen those? I seen that little. What was that about? I don't know. I guess Jack Harlow's popping right now, man. So they just want to throw him yeah. in every little thing. But he's he not from YSL. He is not indicted. Don't try to put the, get that boy in trouble. You man. see that? Don't try to get that boy we in just trouble. Just want to clarify that for y'all, in, ca in case y'all would have seen that in the in the articles. <laughs> don't get that boy in trouble, man. man. He's a good kid. I, I saw his interview. He's a good kid. Got to get it. Nice, nice little flow. Yeah, he got flow. He got flows. White boy got flow. He got flow. White boy got flow. So you know, you know I'm mean? interested to see how his album gonna be. Album want to drop soon. It's gonna so, be fly. If y'all want to go pick up that Jack Harlow, you know, but right? I, no, I'll check it out. If anything, buy buy a Young Thug and Gunna's music too. YSL support music. Support it. Facts. You support I mean? that. Put support some money that. On that. I listen to Gunna almost every day. A Gunna's part of my payroll. Gunna, Thanks. Dirt, Future, Lil Baby. Boom. Feel me? A couple West Coast artists, Roddy Rich. I'm still listening to Can't Nip. Can't go wrong with Roddy. Still listening to Nip. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. You know. But the Milano rappers, yeah. Well, Cali, we rock with it. Yeah, yeah. For sure. And uh, what's really important is that Young Thug's got kids. He got like six babies, right? So not only is this affecting him, this is, this is affecting his children, right? And I don't know about the rest of the people that's indicted, but they probably have kids too. So things are, you have to think about things that are beyond yourself a lot of the times when you make moves because you have responsibilities that are beyond yourself a lot of the times, right? Beyond yourself. You it's not even I mean? about you. Yeah, so supporting him also supports his family, but also going back to knowing your circle, knowing you're making the right moves, especially if you got people to take care of, be smart, people, with, your, with the things that you do. You know what I mean? Other than that, T, tell them where they can find you. Man, you can find me on Instagram, T Giuliano, T33 underscore Giuliano, man. You know, hit your boy up if you want to collab or anything, you know, a couple of interviews, you know, or you want to just collab on anything. Just message me, boom, follow me, you get what I'm saying? Spell it out All for them. them. Spell it out for them. T33 underscore Giuliano, J-U-L-I-A-N-O. T33 underscore Giuliano, J-U-L-I-A-N-O. Fuck with your boy. You got it? So, yeah, y'all can find me on Instagram and TikTok at, yeah, that is him, Y-E-A-H. T H A T I S H I M. All right. Again, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment, share the video. If you're on the audio, write a good comment. You know what I mean? 
one last thing. My, my, my ebook's coming out. So stay tuned for that. 10 things your parents should have taught you but didn't. Man. 10 things that your parents should have taught you but didn't. That's relevant to what's happening right now. 10 things. That's relevant to what's happening right now, right? You know, it's relevant because if you listen to what, a lot of us don't have the right guidance that we need in life. And sometimes we need to listen to big bro to get them guided, right? So these are just some guiding lines in life, right? So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned. Other than that, we'll catch you in the next one. Freedom guys, man. Freedom guys. Peace.